Patty Kim. Whether you're on a mission to see some of Europe's finest art, sample cutting-edge cuisine, or simply just soak up the cultural ambiance, France can seduce you with it all. is the city of lights and the city of lovers. One of the best things to do in the city, plunk yourself down in a cafe and while away an afternoon, sipping un cafe and people watching. The best way to see Paris is on foot. Skip the metro, put on a good pair of walking shoes and check out the sights. From the Arc de Triomphe, stroll down the Champs Elysees, past the Grand and Petit Palais to the Place de la Concorde. For a change of pace, get your art fix at the Louvre and the Pompidou Center. Cross the River Seine and tour Notre Dame Cathedral. Once on the left bank, visit the Sorbonne before heading westward to Les Invalides and finishing at the Eiffel Tower. But Paris could just be the first stop on your personal tour to France. Cruise westward down the Loire River Valley. Its Renaissance-era chateaus and palaces seem straight out of a fairy tale. For another magical ride, take a train to the Normandy coast and Mont Saint-Michel. Rising from its rocky shores, the 1,300-year-old Benedictine Abbey at low tide is connected to the land. But as the tide rises, it transforms into an island. Over the years, it served as a monastery, fortress, prison, and today, one of France's top tourist draws. The south of France is famous for its Riviera beaches and jet set resorts, but that overlooks the area's many other charms. For a taste of opulence, see Avignon's papal palaces. Take a sweet-smelling tour of the historic perfume factories of Grasse. If you're interested in high cuisine, you can try your hand at hunting for truffles, a pungent fungus cherished by the world's great chefs and sometimes worth more per ounce than gold. Or, of course, you might simply relax and enjoy the beautiful countryside. France is a traveler's delight in any season with pleasures for historians, nature lovers, artists, and urbanites alike. Bon voyage.